welcome back to my channel so hey okay, guys so like i said welcome back but let me be clear in the beginning of this video you were supposed to see the before of my closet and everything that it is looking like but like a smart dumb person i accidentally deleted that footage and i don't have the before of how my closet looks so i'm so sorry but i hope you guys can see the before from just the overall video i'm sorry but let's go ahead and continue so today i decided to organize my closet our closet me and greg's closet this mess so when we first moved into this house i was super excited about this closet because it was so much space but then i forgot i had to share with greg so i just kind of like put my stuff in here and i didn't really i tried to organize it from what you guys can see from the overview of the room but i didn't do like a really good job because when we first moved in when we first when we first moved in i didn't have all the stuff to organize my closet i didn't really have an idea i just kind of put my stuff in here so there's it's a hot mess so when you come in there's stuff all over the floor mainly greg's because he has like running shoes waist belt stuff dirty clothes the dirty clothes hamper is overflowing his corner is a mess there's no organization as far as his clothing. There is no organization as far as my clothing except for like shirts, long sleeves, skirts, dresses, jackets, random shirts. And then all this stuff here is because we only have one dresser which has like five drawers and we're sharing that. So we're in the process of ordering a new dresser that's bigger that we can share that one as well. So all of this will be in a dresser within the next month. But until then, I'm tired of looking at it and it's making this closet look weird. And I have like a bunch of shoes and I have some purses. I did get rid of a lot of stuff before we moved here. I think about three bags of clothes and some shoes. I already emptied out some clothes out of the, this closet, this current closet. Like a couple of months ago, like when we first moved in, I was like, oh, I don't really need this, whatever, whatever. There's clothes currently in the garage that needs to go to donation. But I know there's clothes in here that I still don't wear, but I just feel like I need it because I don't want to look like I don't have any clothes. But it's really taking up a lot of space. Today, the goal is to organize the clothes, get rid of some shoes, organize the purses, and do something with this. I did buy some baskets from Target, so I'm hoping that we can fix this situation to where it looks better. And I also want to tackle Greg's side and at least organize his clothes and like kind of clean it up over there because it is a hot mess as well. He doesn't take up too much space because he doesn't have a lot of clothes. I have more stuff than he does. All of his shoes are upstairs in his man cave, so that's why his size his side look bare because most of his shoe well all of his Jordans are upstairs so that's why I have it looks like I have more shoes let's get started let me grab the baskets and the trash bags so before I jump into the clothes these are the baskets that I bought from Target I like these because they're sturdy and they're white so they may look cleaner in this closet because our shelves are white our background is light gray and then we have these dark wood bars so i thought these will look better because i have some upstairs and i really like these i think these were like six dollars a piece and i have nine but all let's clean videos i am starting with removing all of the clothes out of my side of the closet because i had so many extra clothes and i didn't do this for greg's closet because he had already gotten rid of some of the stuff he wanted to get rid of and i didn't want to throw anything away that he personally wanted to keep so i didn't do this for his side of the closet but for mine i went ahead and took everything out of the closet and went ahead and just put them on the floor and to reorganize them. So now that I have all the piles of clothes, they're kind of in order from like tops, certain tops. 
um, dress tops and pants and skirts and dresses I decided to go through them and just see how I felt about each piece and how I felt about them and if I didn't really get any feelings from them I kind of just tossed them to the side and um, just didn't I'm gonna donate it and then for the hangers I decided to switch out any white hangers and put them on um, put them on the side in the pile and then I was going to switch out the white hangers for black hangers and I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning but I am ordering more velvet hangers to replace all the hangers in both sides of the closet with the velvet black hangers so I was trying to get rid of as many white hangers as I could on my side and then I got um, some velvet hangers for Greg's side as well but you guys won't see that in this video maybe when I do a house tour you will so basically you're just gonna go and see what clothes you love and what clothes you don't love or what have you worn in the past year and what haven't you worn and you want to put that in a separate pile to get rid of it and then you can see me exchanging the hangers for black hangers So in real life, this took me over an hour because this is something you really want to think about. You don't want to just donate or get rid of clothes that you really think you're going to wear, but you also don't want to keep things that you know you're not going to wear. So it took me a while to go through all of my clothes and I really made sure that this was something I was going to wear within the next year. Now that my clothes are organized, they're still on the floor in my room. I'm going through my shoes and deciding what shoes do I really, really need and what shoes am I actually going to wear? Because I had a lot of heels that I just had because they were really cute, but I knew I wasn't going to wear them. And so I also tried some on to see how they felt on my foot because obviously my foot was a little different after having Zara. And I haven't worn these shoes in a while and I also did the same thing with my handbags I just took them all off the top shelf and I was kind of looking like what handbags am I going to wear the next year what is still in my style and luckily I only got rid of like one bag because I did get rid of a ton of handbags before I moved here um, so that was the goal is to decide what do I really like at this time and what am I going to really wear within the next year. So after deciding all of that, I started rearranging my shoes and I put all of my darker heels in like booties up at the top because I, re I don't reach for those as often. And then I tried to place all my heels on the second shelf and I kind of went like I was trying to just do two rows of heels and then the rest like sandals, flats and teeny shoes. So it took me a minute to reorganize this, but I finally got it to a place where I was kind of liking it. Sometimes you gotta take a break from certain things so I kind of just was like let me figure out something else and I moved away from the shoes um, like from the heels section and then I started adding my flats because I have a collection of like those flat sandals and I was trying to go and rearrange how can I put these um, baskets on the shelf because I really want them on the shoe shelf and not on like the bottom shelf of the closet I don't even know if that makes sense but You'll see me, I'm trying to figure out what is the best solution for my tennis shoes, for my sandals. And sometimes you gotta keep playing with ideas. I had three baskets, but only two will fit on the shelf because of the um, wooden dowel rack thing. So I just kept playing with the idea and I finally got to just add the white baskets on this bottom shelf. Because I reach for these shoes all the time, I wanted to showcase them because these are my sandal flats. I have a bunch of them. Well, I have a good little stash going on right now and I just added a few to them right now. 
but I want to showcase them because I grab for these all the time and then I had my sandals and I was trying to do the same technique with the sandals it didn't work out so I just laid the sandals down because I typically grab for flats or sandals and then depending on if I'm doing a lot of errands I'll grab some teeny shoes so I want to make sure that these were like accessible to me and for the sandals and the flats I kind of just put them together because I only had like three pairs since I just threw or donated pretty much a whole bunch of shoes anyway so I was just trying to figure out what works and I had room for all my teeny shoes. So I love these little drawer organizers from Ikea, the black ones you see here, but I didn't love them in the closet. So that's why I went ahead and bought all of these baskets from Target. And I have one for sweatpants, for loungewear, for jeans, and another one for leggings and my biker shorts. I wear a ton of leggings and biker shorts. That's why you guys always see me in them for every like home cleaning or DIY video because that's pretty much what I stay in but I'm getting into loungewear so I needed a basket for that because the one you see right there on top was overflowing with like just everyday like loungewear or pajama wear that I can that couldn't fit in my dresser so I just needed a new basket but I love these baskets from Target and I will leave a link down below for them. So I did have extra shoes that did not fit on the shelf and these are just boots and booties for more like the winter time and like a one pair, two pairs of heels that I just, I don't wear as often but I didn't want to get rid of. I just could not make myself get rid of them and a pair of tennis shoes that needed to be clean. So once I kind of organized that basket and I had those three baskets on the floor that had like scarves and belts, I went ahead and started putting back my clothing and I started with the jackets. Like these are my lighter winter things that can be also worn in the spring. All of my heavy coats and Greg's heavy coats are in our hall closet that's by the garage door so when we're leaving and we need a heavy coat we don't have to walk all the way back into the closet so that was one good thing I love about having this house is that we have multiple closets and most of my dresses are upstairs in my makeup closet for when I do makeup tutorials I can be all fancy and everything but these are just my lighter sweaters and jackets that I already have in that fit perfectly in the closet with my long sleeve so I'm just going to organize my clothes and then I'll go back. So one thing I'm really big on is really color coordinating my clothes as much as possible. This is hard when you have a lot of prints and you know just flowery prints, stripes and things. So I always put those in the back but I always start with white, black and gray and then go into the nudes and darker grays and stuff like that. But I always try to color coordinate every section. So at the top I have like my t-shirts, just cotton t-shirts. 
they are definitely color coordinated because when I go in my closet I just want to say huh what color grab look you know no one wants to dig for a certain shirt so if I know if it's a white shirt I know where to look so for Grace I he had a lot of like basketball shorts everywhere so I gave him two of the baskets that I had and I need to get him two more but I decided to put his sweatpants, basketball shorts, and workout stuff in the two baskets and went ahead and organized his side. His side was a little bit easier because he didn't have as many clothes and his shoes, like I said, are upstairs. So these are just his work shoes and like running shoes that he keeps in the closet downstairs. So like I said for his side, I want to keep it super simple. I didn't want to take out any of his clothing because he barely got any. But I just went ahead and put all the long sleeved stuff with long sleeve and moved his pants around, his um, cargo shorts around. And then I color coordinated his work shirts and his polo shirts and just everything. And just put all his jackets in the back because Greg just had it all messed up. I didn't have time to, I didn't really have any hangers or time to switch out any of the white hangers for black hangers because we didn't have enough black hangers. But I did switch out all the wire hangers he had and I don't know why he keeps those in the closet. So I switched out the hangers that he did have and then he caught me organizing the closet and he was like, what are you doing? Why are you touching my stuff? But in the end he was happy with the whole result and how clean and look and it's still clean so I'm proud. So this is all the stuff that came out of our closet. There was way more. There's like clothes all the way in my room. There's like another pile that you guys couldn't see. But there was so much stuff on the floor. There's piles of shoes and just shoe boxes and then all the organizers from the before. So here is the final result. I was super happy with how the closet turned out. The baskets just look clean against the shelving in the gray wall. The purses are so organized. They're kind of organized by what I will grab first. And I'm just loving how my side has like all these dark hangers against this wood. And I'm hoping to get my hangers soon. But I have all my dresses and skirts and pants at the bottom with my long sleeve tops and light jackets. And here you can see the three baskets that have like some other handbags, scarves, and belts. Then my tennis shoes, my sandals, and of course my flats. I am loving how everything turned out. Super clean, easy to find. That is the key when you are reorganizing and kind of redecorating. You want to make sure you can find everything so i'm loving how my heels are just the ones that i will grab first are like easy for me to reach because i'm short these four baskets are my daily essentials like i reach in them all the time for things to just wear around the house so i'm definitely digging these baskets
and I'm liking how my tops are like I can see all the prints I can see every color I know exactly where to reach for certain t-shirts you know I just love color coordinating all my clothes and everybody else's clothes because it just makes life a little bit easier So here I'm showing you where Greg needs at least two or three more baskets to kind of help him keep his stuff pretty organized but I'm loving his side as well it's very clean and he can find everything um, his work shoes his running shoes Batman I don't know why Batman is in there and also his little watch collection he has going on his clothes is very organized and he can find everything as well so I was very happy with how it looks and since he has a lot of duffel bags I had to clean those up as well because he just had so much stuff all over the floor and I kind of just put his workout gear inside of them so that he can just grab the bag and go that's it guys that's my closet transformation i hope you guys enjoyed this clean with me video and if you like it definitely give it a like comment and a share and don't forget to click down below and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys Okay guys, since you guys are already here, don't forget to click and view some of my latest videos and don't forget to click and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.